Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back, me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 47. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth-generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. 
This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. Forty-seven. Come in. Forty-seven, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. Oh. 
Kämpfe geht. Ja. I understand you probably signed an NDA, but I may be able to make up for it with cold cash. Sir, I suggest you stop asking these questions. I will have to contact Central to escort you out. Okay, thanks. Thanks for nothing. Greetings, sir. Okay then. It's just a precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zana Kazim. Sir, I understand. But you can't enter without being Zana Kazim, aka the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now, what is his business here? Searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it, and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal. Hello there, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. That's You're not just allowed how here, you know. Like it, sir.
I could get used to a gig like this. So now that's there, then. Are you feeling better? Oh. oh, man. Hey, I saw that. Go pick it up. Hey, how are you? throw things around. Find a garbage can. Jeez. What in the... Come in. I just heard something. I don't know. I'm gonna go check it out. Please stand back. I'll check it out. Okay. Okay, just do your thing. Oh, come the fuck on. Really? Excuse me? Uh, got some strange noises here. Looking into it. Over. Might have a situation. Sweeping area. Over. Speechless.
Command, we might have a situation. I'll check the perimeter. Over. Hey! Come out if- I heard that. Huh? Okay. We should really check that out. Go have a look, see, please. Understood. Oh, shit. Command, be advised, we have a casualty. Moving in. No way. Huh? Come in! Okay. Hello? Is anyone there? Who made that sound? Okay. Really? Hmm. Strange. Cock! Come on! Yeah, we got a casualty here. Proceeding with caution. Over. What? Dispatch. I've got a body on the ground. Hold on. Sir, you should go back the way you came. You might get into trouble. I'm glad we speak the same language.
Sir, you better clean out your ears. I told you, you can't be here. Now move along. That's it. One foot in front of the other. Goodbye forever. Right. If you don't leave now, I'm gonna... Uh, ah! This'll just take a sec, sir. Okay, let's go, sir. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Hello, sir. And a good day to you. Please, go in and make yourself comfortable. Sir, Mr. Ingram this is will a restricted be with you area. Shortly. Thank you. Hello. Yeah, I just wanted to remind you about the uh, lock. Oh, 